Welcome back, everybody. The film Slashback is part of a new wave of Indigenous-led projects on the big screen, creating opportunities for young creatives. This groundbreaking thriller follows a ragtag group of Inuit girls that discover an alien invasion in their remote Arctic community of Punuktu, or Pang for short. Take a look. This place is like a ghost town. For real lame. I welcome the crap hole. Population, who cares? Pang? What other crap hole are you living in? I think Pang is awesome. You guys, what is it? We are thrilled to welcome Nunavut born director Nyla Inukshuk to the show. Thank you for being here. Oh, so yeah. great to have you. So you have shared that Slashback is a very personal film and it reflects you finding pride in your indigeneity. So you worked with a young cast of yeah. Anuk girls. So can you talk about that reflection and your pride and the, the process of sharing that with this cast? Yeah, it was just the highlight of the experience was getting the chance to work with these teenage girls. They were so much fun and Rory, our teenage boy who was a part of the cast. and. Uh, you know, as I was figuring out how to how to write the script for this for this m movie, and working with my co-writer Ryan Cabin, we were spending time with these young girls, and certainly myself, being an Indigenous teenager at one point. Um, you know, when you're that age, you're kind of trying to figure out who you are and where you fit in, and and being Indigenous, you're also trying to figure out where your indigeneity fits into that. And I just, I, for all of us, we'd have these conversations, and we all wanted to be um, either proud Indigenous women or working towards that. And it was important for us to recognize the the shame that would sometimes come into our language, or um, and and we would talk about it when some of the kids would say, oh, that's so Inuk. Like, what does that mean? And, um, and, and really trying to have our language be uh, prideful, because that's how we, how we feel. Mm. The, uh, this, this movie, it really focuses on the coming of age stories, as you mentioned, as this group of Inuk girls. Um, but in Nunavut, there are no like, casting agents for local talent. Yeah. So how did you go about finding your cast? Yeah, it was uh, it was really fun. It was, but it's true. There's no casting agents. There's um, there are not a ton of opportunities for actors in Nunavut, and so it was. Um, we kind of put out this this call for for acting workshops. And and Christine Tutu, who is a local theater actor, and and she ended up working in my props department. Uh, she helped me with these acting workshops. So we got all these young people, and over a couple of days, we're we're doing these workshops, and I was uh, trying out different kids together, and and. That's how we kind of found our girls, and this was before we had producers or or my co-writer, and and it was just uh, you know me and these girls that really had a, this idea that we believed in, and so it's been really great for us to to be making this movie and seeing them grow up and. Yeah. And that chemistry needs to work because this is a story about them bonding, but part of the way they bond is like fighting aliens. <laughs> <laughs> right, like they, yeah. there are some action pieces, like the, the girls start kicking butt, but when they're, in, in the moments where they're getting ready for battle, we see them painting um, each other's faces uh, with designs, tattoo designs. So what inspired that? part of, of the story. Yeah, so there's a part in the in the movie where the girls have to kind of, one, decide that their town's worth fighting for, and two, that they're the ones that are really kind of uniquely capable of doing this, since they have to kind of get ready, and, and part of that is putting on this makeup and th these tattoos, which are Inuit, uh, and Inuit women in particular have, uh, traditionally would wear tattoos on their face and all over their bodies, and this is something that was lost during colonization, and a lot of the, the, the um, um, the meaning behind the tattoos was lost. And, uh, but what's so exciting is young people now are reclaiming these traditions. And when it came to talking with these girls, all of the cast already had ideas because they'd already been thinking about when I grow up and get facial tattoos, what will it look like? And so they had the patterns and designs already picked out. And so it was just a really kind of great moment for all of us and, and having to do those slow motion walks with the tattoos. At one point, Tessiana, who plays Micah, she was like, this is a real confidence booster. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> so nice. Um, so since, speaking of confidence boosters, since uh, Slashback premiered at the 2022 South by Southwest Festival in Texas, the film has really garnered a huge fandom mm -hmm. around the world. So we talk about the feedback. I mean, people who are into this genre, myself included, are really, really voracious and, and, <laughs> and vocal. So um, what was it like when you actually brought the film to Pang, the community, to do a screening right yeah. there? That was really, really special for me and the cast. We all went to Pang. We brought the movie back and we showed it with our friends and the people that helped make us make the movie with us. And it was uh, the screening that we, we were most nervous about, but also most excited about. And it was just so much fun. People were um, were screaming and when they'd see themselves, they'd be like, oh, that's me. And, and, and actually later I found out that someone had on their cell phone recorded the entire movie on their cell phone and people were distributing it on USB keys. And I was like, we have to figure out a way to get like high quality versions of this movie yeah. into, yes. into, the, yeah. into the community. But I just love that people were just like, couldn't wait. <laughs> so your film though has, has joined what's being called the new wave of indigenous cinema led by indigenous creators. What does it mean to you to, to contribute to this body of work? Yeah, it means uh, it means a lot. You know, I, I, I've grown up with um, the indigenous screen community being a really big part of my life, and um, seeing other filmmakers advocate, advocating for opportunities that I've now gotten, and uh, it's really exciting. It's it, my friends are making amazing movies. Danis Goulet, who made Night Raiders, and and Zoe Hopkins, who made Run Woman Run, which is like this rom com set on the res. It's it's, which is like totally different than Slashback, but what, that's what's so fun is we've got all these different types of stories and now we're getting these opportunities to share some of them. Well, Nyla, thank you so much for sharing your time. Thank you. <laughs> so good. Uh, you can scream at Slashback anytime by heading to Crave and we have good news for our studio audience. You're all going home with a promo code to subscribe and redeem three months of Crave on yeah. us. There. Hey there, wasn't that great? Do you know where you can find some equally good content? Our YouTube page. It's filled with discussions, debates, and some laughs. Head there now, like and subscribe.